So this might be the last, hopefully is the last breeding update for horses of 2023. So we have two mares that have not had heartbeat checks. So we're checking Indy and Gracie to make sure their little babies have heartbeats. They're both like a little over 40 days pregnant. And then if all is good, they won't really need to be checked up on until we're like on full watch next year, hopefully. So let's check Indy. What have you guys been doing? Well, we had that big old fish fry and it was oh, awesome. Oh, I forgot about that. I know. Was it good? It was awesome. We had like a few hamburgers and hot dogs for the kids and for people that didn't want fish, but most people ate the fish and it was really, really good. Jonathan built me like a whole patio in like a week beforehand. This weekend we're getting ready for deer though. Like it starts, we're putting all of our cameras and corn and all that good stuff out. Are you missing all the breeding or are you? I actually do. <laughs> I love all the breeding when it goes right. Are you like pretty slowed down now? I mean, you're about to, no? No, we've got two weeks left and it's still full speed. Is the last two weeks just like everyone's doing Hail Marys and like? Kind of. And then you have your stragglers that were like, where have you been for the last four months? Hold her right here and just. So you have a nice one in here. Let me uh, come see it. This is the baby and the heartbeat's right in the middle, like flickering. Or this whole black thing's the baby, but. No, 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 the, what? the baby's the white. The baby's the white? And in the middle of the white, there's it's a flicker. the heartbeat. Yeah. Is the black thing the sac? Yeah, it's, it's amniotic fluid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone sent me where they found Indies from like 10 years ago, a sale ad on Facebook. Cause you know, I got her from like a kill pen. Right. So they found where she had had an owner trying to get rid of her. And they're like, she jumps, is a trail horse, is like all this stuff that I had no clue, like has moved cows, all these things that Indy's done. And her old name was Ellie. Ellie, where was she? Um, Oklahoma. Okay. She doesn't look like much of a cow horse. <laughs> I would say not. All right. All right, we're good with her. Good girl. So that was great. Um, now all of our mares stay on regimate, which is like a horse for form of birth control to keep their progesterone levels high enough to sustain a pregnancy. And after like 160 days of the pregnancy, they say that they don't need regimate anymore, but we've had horses, um, progesterone levels plummet no later than that. So we just, for safety, keep all of our mares on regimate their entire pregnancy, which can be expensive, but it's a lot better than losing up, a baby area, late term. So let's get Gracie. Well, you can play heaven. defense. Okay. Make sure he stays in here. Come on, mama. How's Beyonce? Um, real fat, but like walking really good. They've been going out in a bigger paddock every day so that her baby can move around a lot more. She gets a lot of hay and she's, you know, sedentary by choice. Like even if we put her out, she doesn't move around. But I mean, she's really fat. Like we need to, I don't even, I don't even know what to do because she doesn't get any grain, but. Her well, baby's gotta be like three or four months now, right? Two and a half months. Mr. Petey's over there flirting while his mama's getting checked. So you have a nice one here too. Whenever he doesn't immediately say, yep, we got one, I'm like, I'm like, are you looking for one right now? <laughs> like, there's Gracie's baby. All right. Sweet. She's like a month pregnant and this is what she looks like. Would you go ahead and put a grazing muzzle on her? I mean, she's freaking fat. That baby's. Three and a half months. Yeah, I wouldn't put a grazing muzzle no. on her. Now when she weans, I would. She got huge when last she, year. When she weans, I would. Yeah. I mean, that baby's gonna be. Pulling her down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Anybody else? Uh, if we could pull blood on my paint okay. to see if he's got Cushing's or if he has just something going on. Cause he, this is the second summer he hasn't shed and he's starting to get kind of crusty and he gets like no grain. I'm gonna be calling you in January next year, trying to get early on like three of them. So you get like a five month break from me and then back to it. So this is my old man, Bo. He's 23. We bred him, so I've had him. <laughs> Lord Cordero. I've had him almost his whole, or his whole life. He was born here. Um, but he's, you see how like long his hair is. He's not shedding and it's getting really hot. And this is the second summer that he hasn't shed his winter coat. He's starting to get like a smidge crusty. You see how he's got this like, like his neck isn't lean, how he's getting this like hump on it. That 
some old horses just do that, but that doesn't, it's not really a sign of health either. So I'm just gonna have him pull some blood just to be sure, cause we love our Bobo. And if there's something we can do, a supplement or if he needs some medicine, I wanna make sure we're doing it. Are you treating for anything? Nope, so that's why I wanna make sure. Yeah. Hi buddy. He, and he's like the kind, he's the type of horse that like, he's never needed anything a day in his life. Like he's the horse that's never lame. The one that doesn't, he gets a handful of grain cause he's an easy keeper. Like he just doesn't need anything. So. He may need a little percent. Yeah. But he gets hot. That, that's the thing. Like before I body clipped him and all that good stuff, I just wanted to see about. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. And his name's Bo, if you need that on there. B-O? B-O. Right. I don't know if he's, I mean, literally, he's only in the system for like vaccines. He doesn't ever get anything. So, okay. All right, let me go put him up. Got it. And then, I mean, I guess there's no reason for you to come back until next year, I guess. So, that was great news. We always like Petey. We love those kinds of vet visits where everything is good news. And I figured since this was like kind of like the last breeding update, we could go through each mare, all five of them, and I'll tell you their due dates and who they're bred to so that we kind of get all of our ducks in a row leading up to foaling season next year and we can have those dates nailed down. And uh, I'm just excited, y'all. But five babies on the way. Okay, let's go with Trudy. I've got them all in my phone. Everyone always thinks I pull everything out of the top of my head. And a lot of the times I do, but I do have notes. So Trudy is due March 26th. She's bred to Good Better Best. She's had one baby with Good Better Best in 2021. Um, and so it is not Penelope's sire. Penelope's sire is Allocate Your Assets. So Trudy bred to Good Better Best due March 26th, and that is her 340 day due date. Trudy has always had her babies around 330 days. So that could mean as early as like March 16th, somewhere in there. So mid-March to late March, Miss Trudy. Let's go to Miss Gracie. Come here, baby. We just checked Gracie, so she's due April 10th, and she is a surrogate mare. She's a recip, meaning she is carrying a baby for another mare. That's the same thing that she did for Mr. Petey. So it's Petey's mom, Beyonce, who she's carrying for, but it's a different sire. It's VS Good Ride. So it'll be a full sibling to Finn, which is our third baby this year. With Petey, she had him at 335 days, so that's just five days early. So if she did that, we're looking at like an early April baby. So that's, she'll be our last one due at this time. And then Ginger is our first mama up for next year. So Ginger is due March 5th and she's a maiden mare, meaning this is her first baby ever. And maidens tend to come early in my experience. I had one mare a couple years ago that went way over, but in the majority of the time, in my experience, they come a little early and I think that's God's way of letting that baby be a little smaller for them since it's their first time. So she's due March 5th and her birthday is actually February 28th. So how fun would it be if she had it just a smidge early and had a birthday twin with her baby? That'd be so fun. But anyway, Ginger is bred to Cool Breeze, which is a chestnut stallion that we've never bred to before. So I'm really, really excited for that. So she's our first one up. Then our second one up is Cool, and Cool is due at, on March 11th. Now, it's not impossible that she would have a February baby because that would put her at like day 329 if she had it the last day of February, but there's a better chance that she's probably gonna have it um, like early March because I believe she was about a week early the last time she had a foal with us in 2022. So she's due March 11th. She is bred to VS Code Red, who is actually the sire of Ginger, the mare we just looked at. So we're gonna have some siblings all over the place. And Cool is actually our oldest brood mare. She's 20, so she will be 21 when she foals. And everyone asks if this is her last baby or not. We'll just kind of let her tell us that. Mares can have babies into their 20s if they're healthy and happy and if that baby doesn't drag them down too much. So we will just let our vets kind of look at that and decide. But as of right now, she's looking amazing. So I don't know. If, if it is her last one that she's having, we will most likely look into ICSI, which is where they actually do IVF and go in and harvest ovocytes and freeze them after they've like test tube 
not test tube them. They like put them in a dish, they take the sperm from like multiple different stallions and we hopefully get like four or five different foals that we freeze and then take out whenever we want. So that's what we would kind of look into with Cool if this is her last baby she's having herself. And then our last baby is, well not the last baby, it'll probably be, well, I say that Indy and Gracie could have like a race as to who's gonna have their baby first next year because their due dates are only two days apart. So Indy is due April 8th. So she's technically due two days earlier than Gracie, but there is nothing saying that she's gonna be before Gracie. Indy, I believe was around a week early last year, not last year, in 2022. But yeah, last year. She didn't have a full this year. She had a full last year. And um, she was like a week early. So if that's the case, then we could have like an April Fool's baby, maybe. And it's gonna be a full sibling to her uh, first foal with us, which was uh, Wheezy. And she's bred to Full Metal Jacket, who is like this huge, gigantic, beautiful black stallion. So, Indy, are you gonna show us your head at all? Oh, thank you. So that wraps us up. Those are our five mares, their due dates, their baby daddies. Let me know if you have any questions. And since this is the last breeding update, if you missed all the other before stuff with breeding and foaling and all that stuff, go check out my earlier videos from this year. I have all that documented. Let me know if you have any questions. I would greatly appreciate if you subscribe and like before you leave. Those things help me out so much. And I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video.